Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request, we have from Voy7. Mr. Cap, in the light of the new weather system in DCS, how much does rain affect aircraft performance? Does it affect lift, or drag, or power? And does it affect how quickly you can stop on the runway due to it being slippery? Now, lift, drag, and power, uh, I can't actually think of a decent way of measuring those, especially to the accuracy that I think we'll need to see whether it will affect it, whether it's raining in DCS. Also, in real life, does rain actually affect anything? Does it affect power? Does it affect lift, drag? Uh, I have not got the foggiest, so I think that's going to need some more research. What we can do is, does a slippery runway affect your stopping time? So the way I figured we would do this is we've got a pair of eight ends here, we've got a long runway and some cones in front of us that are just over 3,000 feet away. We're going to go full blast. Once we hit the cones, we're going to come off the throttle and go full brakes until we stop and test our braking distance like in a car. Then we're going to do the same when it's raining. And then if we can, we're going to try and get it to be icy conditions. And that will allow us to get our stopping distances in dry, wet and icy conditions and see if it's modelled in DCS. There's also anti-skid on this aircraft, as in most aircrafts. Let's see if anti-skid has an effect on the stopping distance as well. OK, I'll see it's the middle of summer. The temperature is about 10 degrees Celsius. On my mark, we're going to go full power as soon as you hit those cones. And it's really important you get this as accurate as possible. Once you've hit the cones, power off as quickly as possible, brakes on and never release the brakes, and just use your uh, leave your nose all steering on so you don't skid off the side. You have anti-skid on in this case, I'll have anti-skid off, and I'm going to okay. see if I can control that. I want to know what my speed is too mm, when I hit I wish it, it should be perfect. As long as you don't, you know, I'm watching anyway, so. Well, 137, you got 137 uh, via the game engine. Takes the engines a while to spool down, but the way that's why that took a while. So he's on full brakes, and with his anti skid, he's not skidding, so he can control it. Now, anti skid in real life, as far as I'm aware, does not reduce the stopping distance. It just allows you to control it because it stops the wheels from skidding. If anything, in cars, it actually increases the stopping distance. Stay there, RC. Uh, I'm going to do mine now. I'm going to do my absolute damnedest not to hit you. Right, I've got anti skid off. So I expect this to be a little more difficult uh, to keep in a straight line. Tiny bit forward stick. And with the same weight and everything, by the way, valid viewers. Off power, brakes on. Oh no, it's skidding. <laughs> It's skinny. It's skinny. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I can't stop it. Oh, you blew it higher. Yep. But. Uh oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it may simply be a case that in this test we can't go full brakes um, and and with the anti skid off. Uh, but it's an interesting. Look, you look at my skid marks. Look at they skid yeah, yeah. all the way down there. I mean, that's realistic, you know, that's, that's, that's what happens in a car or an aeroplane if the wheels lock up. RC got 0 0.515, I got 0 0.457. Um, so with no skid, it would have taken you longer to stop if you kept control of the aircraft. Same day in the summer, again, 10, 11 degrees Celsius, it's now raining. Uh, it's raining over the test area, but because it's volumetric, it rains there. Look, I don't know if you can see that. Move out from the cloud, it's not there but it is a wet runway. Wait, I'll see. Uh, repeat your procedure exactly as you did before. Try and hit the brakes and the throttle as soon as you hit those flags. Yeah, do your best to keep to one edge because I'm, I'm uncontrollable, basically. Yeah. Let's stay over here. I'm. I, this is not going to end well for me. I can. This is not going to end well for me. Right, I'm really going to concentrate this time. Okay, I'll see. It's pretty much stopped. That looked longer to me, but obviously I haven't measured it. Okay, valid viewers. Yeah. We're going to try going again. Uh, this time I'm going to have my anti skid off. This probably will be incredibly painful. There'll be a slight error in the accuracy of when we, you know hit our brakes and stuff like that because we're humans but it's the best we can do well I'm a human well kind of and wait for
brake, 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 that bit actually there it really oh, digs in there. Tires. That really helps me. Look, I'm gonna beat you, RC. Oh, Yet you blew again. two tires. Stop moving! Oh, oh, oh. oh that's a landing. <laughs> that's a landing. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, Ow, I'm literally on fire. How embarrassing! Look how close I was to you. Isn't that interesting? And you can yeah. see when the skid starts as well. Okay, I don't know what we're trying to prove with the anti-skid thing, but it really is a. Uh, it's just something we added on. Look how it's in the middle of this cloud. It's really dense raining. But at the edge of the cloud, it was raining a bit. And outside of the cloud, it wasn't raining at all. Isn't that interesting? That's at least That's good. nothing else. That's one thing we've learned. And you got, and I quote, Oh! Longer. I'm, I'm going to save. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to save it until the end. So you have to wait. I'm going to put me down as NA because uh, I, can't, I can't even see myself on the map. Welcome back to our third test. It's now the middle of winter. It's the same time in the day, but it is minus 12 degrees Celsius. It's icy, or as icy as we're going to get it. Here's another thing learned today. You got 10 knots, nearly 10 knots faster. That must be because uh, the air density is higher because yeah. the temperature is lower. So you're making, so there's another thing we've learned. A, that the vol rain is now volumetric and dynamic and uh, it's not just on or it's off. It's, you know, different levels of rain. And now as well, we've noticed that the lower the ambient temperature, the more power the engine makes, which we could just see from that drag race there. So really interesting things going on here that we're learning. This is going yeah, to be messy. around 150 when I hit the coach. Yeah, which was faster than we've ever been before, yeah. simply because of the temperature. Amazing. Right, here we go. Super powered engine due to the cold, uh, cold weather. No brakes. I see runway. Reminds me of reading uh, something about eagles landing on pure ice in Iceland. On their runway is absolutely crazy. Right, I've got to concentrate that. You've got one job, which is not to talk about ice. Right, here we go. I already got it in a tank slapper. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna save this one. You watch. It's like driving the vegan with Yes! Oh. No! <laughs> yes! All skill required for this. It's longer! It's longer! Look at that, you're right. Yeah. And I didn't I blow a tire. I didn't blow a tire. No! And I didn't blow a tire. <gasps> and relax. I'm going backwards. And I'm up. Right. That was weird, but cool. <laughs> Isn't it funny? I to end up facing backwards. IC conditions for RC is there. And I actually put a time in this time. And that time or distance, I suppose, is. So in the summer with no rain, we got with ABS on 0.515 nautical miles with ABS off we got slightly slower however it was technically a crash i was facing the wrong way with blown tires on the dirt so the same summer day but with rain this is the interesting bit with abs we got 0 0.685 nautical miles that is 20 30 percent more so our wet runway is modeled in the way they interact with your braking system yes exactly like we would expect to see in real life also with abs you can control it because RC could easily control it. And for me, it was very hard, next to impossible, to control from 130, 140 knots. Uh, and I got an NA here because I ended up upside down on fire. Winter. RC got 0 0.626. My suggestion is that that's probably due to the fact he was making a lot more power and he got about 10 knots faster, I think. I stand to be corrected. I don't get the feeling that the ice was modelled. And the other reason I don't think the ice was modelled is that I could control it. You know, I didn't skid much compared to the other ones. If that was ice, in reality, without ABS, I would have just been pirouetting, I think. So let me know what you guys think of those results. In summary, yes, rain is modelled on the runway and you will slip and slide on it. Anything you want to add to that, I'll see. Nope. Ta-ra!